So why would this private equity group, which has mostly been active in North American fast food chains, be interested in a German lift business? Nara, it really all comes down to returns. It's as simple as that. So yes, they're usually in consumer goods. They're really well known for their craft deal they did with the help of Berkshire Hathaway uh, from Warren Buffett. But they've seen their consumer goods business, specifically craft, see multi-billion dollar write downs. And this is really a story of crowding. Private equity is so crowding that you're seeing these players have to move away from their core focus in order to look elsewhere for returns. So 3G, in their case, it's moving to this elevator unit. But it also has to do with just how much dry powder there is in private equity. So 3G, they have about $10 billion of investor capital they need to employ. So they're getting a lot of pressure from their investors to do something with it, to go after those big deals. So a lot of investor interest in ThyssenKrupp itself. But if they could get this done, it would certainly meet the bill of a big deal. Yeah. And Danny, is this an asset that's insulated from the economic slowdown in Germany? Well, really, any German asset, especially an industrial conglomerate like ThyssenKrupp, certainly feels the pain of a German slowdown. But if anything, ironically, that's actually why this deal has been made possible. When you have slowing growth, you have these big German companies think, OK, we can't get as much organic growth as we thought we could, so we need to look at spin-offs. We need to narrow our focus. So that means that on the supply side in Germany, you have much more assets coming into the fore. And then on the demand side, you have these investors who perhaps usually would look in the UK when it comes to European deals, look very crowded. So they're more fine with moving into Germany despite some of the growth weakness. I mean, you'll recall Nara KKR just raised their biggest European fund, which focuses on Western Europe, specifically Germany. So this is just one of many deals taking place in the region despite any of the economic slowdown we've seen.